Welcome back to WTOA 11 Your Day. For those kids who don't have siblings or another positive influence in their life, they need a life mentor of sorts. Well, there's an organization for that. Dr. Marvin Whitfield joins us from Big Brothers, Big Sisters of Northwest Ohio. Good morning. Thanks for joining us today. Good morning. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. So right now you have a great need for folks who are willing to step up and say, I want to be a big brother. I want to be a big sister. Yes, due to the negative impact of COVID-19, our uh, request for services have quadrupled over the past year. Quadrupled, that's significant. So there are a lot of youngsters then in our community who really need a figure in their life to, to lead them in a good direction. Talk a little bit about what these mentors do for these kids. Okay, so our um, five areas of goal match, uh, which we call REACH, is exposing the youth to recreation and social competency, education and life skills, art and culture, community engagement, and health and well-being. If there's somebody at home who's interested, what all does it entail? If you, if you sign up to become a big brother or a big sister, uh, what, what are they in for? <laughs> yeah, uh, a lot of people say, you know, always ask, do I have enough time? And so all we require is one hour a week, whether it's by phone, uh, virtually, or in person, when, when they feel it's safe and comfortable. And it really adds up to 52 hours a year of dedicating some of your time to help uh, the youth in need of uh, service and support to have positive, long, uh, long lasting, uh, positive outlooks and uh, aspects on their life. Yeah, talk a little bit about about that. You know, uh, what are the results? Uh, how big of an impact does this program make in these kids' lives? I can I can tell you, I've, I've been here a little over a year now, going to my second year, and just the stories I've seen, the outcomes. We've had one where um, I just here recently, where she's about to graduate, where she was. Um, Bought on as a, um, a little, we call her bigs and littles, the bigs are the mentor, littles are the mentee, to where when a relationship started off as mentor and mentee, to where the family dynamics changed with the, uh, the youth, and the, the uh, volunteer stepped in and adopted the, uh, the youth, wow. and they're now graduating and going off to college. Wow, so it's a really important program. And of course, you need some fundraising, you need some help from the community to keep things going. So you have one that starts, what, tomorrow? Yes, it's, it's called the Walk, Run, and Bike for Kids' Sakes. It starts uh, uh, to, on 15th, the Saturday, and goes to the 22nd, to where all the, um, the donors are getting together and um, walking, biking, or um, running in behalf of the children, and all the funds will go to the operations of the programs. And so can people get online to figure out how they can register for that? How do they, how do they get involved? Yes, um, unfortunately, the registration already ended because the event actually starts tomorrow, but we still are accepting donations. You can go to our website, uh, bbbsnwo.org, and you can uh, gather information on how to donate at that location. And you have another program, too, we were just talking about during the commercial break. Uh, tell me a little bit more about that. Oh, yes, um, a new pet project. It's uh, called the Bigs and Badges. It's a program designed to help support the rebuilding relationship between law enforcement and the community they serve, to where we actually match a, um, a little to a big in uniform with a badge and help them develop uh, a strong, healthy relationship and reduce the level of bias that um, exists in both spaces. This is an incredibly important program right now, as we've seen um, what has transpired over the course of this past year, and uh, what what a great way to establish these relationships when when they're young, right? Yes. Um, so far, it's working out great. We've had several departments come on board, and we're hoping to expand it over the next several months. And it's actually an expansion from our first original uh, program. We started with big uh, big with badges, um, which opens up to all public safety. So we also try to match them if they have a child interested in being a firefighter or EMT, we connect there. But the, uh, our main focus uh, right now, due to what's going on in society, is trying to help the law enforcement community re repair, rebuild that relationship. It's so important, these relationships, uh, to help us have a, a safe and healthy community. And you can help be part of helping these kids, and you can become a big sister or a big brother. Again, get on the website. Is that where they need to start if they're interested? Yes, they can uh, go right to our website. It has all the information, all the details they need, also our contact information. So get on there, make a difference. Uh, Dr. Whitfield, thank you so much for joining us this morning. And for everything you're doing for our kids, we appreciate it. Thank you. Yep, take care.